Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Eagle Sci Tech, and today I'm going to show you how to remove your background from a picture with the help of your PowerPoint. So let's get into it. Open your PowerPoint. I have chosen a background color so that I can show you the difference. So there are basically two methods to remove your background from a picture in PowerPoint. First one is the easiest one and second one is a bit advanced. So I will start with the first one and the first method is setting transparent background. So to do that let us insert a picture. Here click insert and then click picture then select your picture. Drag it over here. Now you have to remember the picture should be in JPEG format or PNG format otherwise uh, if it is in uh, vector graphic files like SVG then it may not work so remember to select your picture then click format and click color and you can see the option set transparent color after clicking it you'll see that it uh, there is a pen, a pen like icon here just click on the background which you want to remove so this is the white background I want to remove so I'll click on it and you can see the background is removed. So it is the easiest way to remove a background. Now it may not work if your background is not smooth. For this method to work your background should be of solid color, smooth, uh, distinct and uh, crisp. Uh, you can see the background over here is not smooth, uh, it's not of even color. So if I try to do the same thing over here, you'll see that it doesn't work. You can see that it does not work because the background color is not of uh, the same color. It's not smooth. Uh, even uh, if, if the subject color and the background color is similar, then it may not work as well. Let me show you again. Try to do this over here. If I try to do this over here, you can see the uh, color of the cloth is also being removed so it's difficult and even uh, if, if there is like stranded here like this it may not work like so you can see that it doesn't work uh, the hair uh, there are some background still remaining over here so for this kind of pictures we can use the second method so what's the second method the second method is to remove the background use the tool remove background so how to use that select the picture again select the format same as it's before select format select this to remove background now after clicking it you can see that the background and some of the picture also becomes of magenta color so that means you can see in the preview that that means that this will be removed you can see some options over here mark areas to keep mark areas to remove now if you see that some of your subject is being removed you can choose these options and edit it PowerPoint has automatically removed the background and you can see that uh, cropped figure it just bring it down so that the PowerPoint can identify which one is your subject and will bring this down as much as possible so that it becomes clearer as much as possible so you can see that it's okay uh, it was an easy fix the background has been removed and there is no left on the body uh, let me let me zoom if there is any so you can see in the hand there is some so to remove that you can click mark areas to remove and then you can see that the hand has gone so just click and mark areas to keep and uh, I, I think the rest of it is okay so I'll zoom out so you can see it was clearly easy if you would have tried it with uh, the first method it wouldn't have worked because the background is not even so then we'll keep changes click this one and you can see that you have kept the changes so let me show you another picture where the background color is not as smooth as this one was so let me choose this you can see the background color is not smooth we will select this picture we'll click format and we'll click remove background now you can see it's the same thing it has removed the background automatically we'll select the 
part which is our subject and let the popper know that we want this subject to be present and then even even after that if the popper doesn't get that we can use our tools like this one mark as to keep so click this mark as to keep and we will draw some lines we will saw we draw some lines which will make the popper understand that we have to keep this part as the subject so yeah, you can see that it's been done you can see that this color is also gone just click on the color click on this part click on this writing this one as well so I guess uh, okay and you can see that this part of the background is not gone so now click mark is to remove and just draw this line over here and this is removed this one is also not removed we'll just select this one and this one will be removed now keep changes and you can see that it's a okay version of a picture where the background is removed if you want to discard the changes you can just click the picture again and click format and then by this you can uh, reset the picture or you can just go to remove background and discard all changes so in this way you can discard the changes you have done so you don't have to worry if you have messed up something you can just go back and redo it let me show you that with this method as well there are some drawbacks for example if the subject and the background has the same color like this one as i have shown before it may become a bit difficult it's not like you cannot do that you can but it will become very difficult so as you can see over here that this picture the background and the cloth is the same color so you can see that over here there are some background which has remained in the next picture you can see that some of the problem is the stranded hairs you can see that the some of the hairs are gone and even after that the background is there it may happen like that and if you have pictures which are very small and which has some very detailed things about it it may also uh, have some difficulties like of this cup uh, you can see that it's not even uh, even of this pen it may happen so these are also the pictures which may be very difficult to edit and you can see these pictures over here the background has various colors so it may be very difficult you can see just behind the coat there are some books which are visible so it may be difficult by this so uh, in this way in these two methods the first method was the set transparent color which is very easy and you can do that in a very fast way if you have a very solid crisp background color if you cannot do that then you have a second method which is removing the background with specific tools it's very ideal for pictures which have detailed background so i hope this video helped you to edit your pictures uh, to remove the background if it did please like the video and give a thumbs up it means a lot do not forget to subscribe for more updates and hit the notification bell to get notified whenever i upload a new video so that's it for today thanks for watching See you next time.